So what's every Jeep Wrangler missing? In my opinion, it'd be nice to have a keypad entry to unlock and lock the doors instead of using the key fob always. It's nice if you want to get out of the Jeep, uh, go swimming or something, leave your keys locked up in the Jeep, but still be able to get in it. And we don't have one. So, why not come up with one? When I bought my 2012 Jeep, it came with an extra key fob, and I was trying to think of a way to use that to control it uh, without destroying the key as well, which I did. I pulled the buttons out of it um, and kind of accessed it with an Arduino, like I've been doing a few other things. This is a keypad I have hooked up to our Arduino. Um, I type in the code, it locks the Jeep, uh, push a button and it can lock it back up. Right now I'm just using a 1234 code just for an example. I'll obviously change it before I put it. I'll show you an example here. If I hit the arrow here, it'll lock the Jeep, you can hear it. Okay. Now if I type in the code, one, two, three, four. That unlocks the Jeep. So lock it. Code. One, two, three, four. So that's how it works. I'm going to install it in the back of my Jeep here and uh, see how well it uh, works all installed. I'm going to obviously keep the key uh, far away with some long lines so I just can't uh, unscrew the keypad and hit the open button. But uh, that's what I got so far. So here it is installed on the Jeep. The wires run through here, background, and then uh, to the key, which is securely hitting in the Jeep somewhere, um, but far enough so someone couldn't just pull this off and hit the unlock button. So it's pretty much impossible to get to, unless you unlock it. So here I changed the code again from when you first saw uninstalled. So if I hit 1557, five, it unlocks the Jeep. The door opens. And then if I hit the arrow, locks it and arms the alarm. So, yeah, works pretty well, I think.